Hi everyone, Quincy here. Today, I would like to talk about secrets in cryptocurrency. Yes, we are going to talk about how to make some profits using cryptocurrency. It is a secure way, of course. So, first thing first. Cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that is secured by cryptographic. People used to use computer to generate cryptocurrency for crypto mining. However, Due to the increase of currency value, initial investment like computer hardware, graphic cards, GPU cards, and also operation costs like electricity, this method is not so profitable comparing to the past. So nowadays, people start to trade cryptocurrency instead. Just like stock market, you can make a profit if you buy low and sell high on cryptocurrency exchange. Cryptocurrency exchange are the online trading platforms for cryptocurrency trading. It's not a bad idea. Having said that, many trading is not profitable enough for a number of people. Because you know, you need to sleep and work and eat, so basically you cannot monitor the market all the time, which operates 24 by 7. In order to make more profits, automated trading based on software or program are widely adopted, meaning that instead of trading manually, we can make use of codes to do the calculations, formulate statistical models, and most importantly, buy and sell cryptocurrency automatically. Depends on the software and codes, the result could be very good. However, in order to allow the software to communicate with the trading platform, it needs to be authenticated. We, as humans, typically use username and password. Software, on the other hand, use secrets for authentication. They are typically embedded in the software as API keys or certificates. An attacker loves secrets. They don't need to hack into your computers. All they have to do is get embedded secrets such that they can pretend or impersonate your software and log onto your cryptocurrency exchange platform and do whatever they want to do. If you take taking all your money, it's not good. Let's see how embedded secret work. In our demo environment, we have a software client running on AWS. We communicate with a cryptocurrency platform called Kraken. We make use of embedded secret for authentications. Let's take a closer look. Okay, first let's log in to Kraken. So I've uh, prepared an account on it. Now we have logged in. So what we're going to do is to create an API key. So we go to um, a profile settings and down here we got an API key. I've already created one so let's see what's the content inside it. So as you can see here I've already generated an API key with a private key which basically it is the secret that will be used by a program. So I have masked most of it here so that you know it will be leaked out. So let's take a closer look at the program. Now we have already logged on to the AWS instance. This is our EC2 instance running the Ubuntu. And I've created a standard, uh, very simple program that basically utilizing the, uh, a secret to log on to my account and try to do something like grab my closed order, so the order list, etc. This is a brand new account, so there's no order closed or opened. However, uh, it will be authenticated successfully and will not show any errors. So let's try to execute it. I've prepared a demonstration script here. So let's try to execute it and see how it goes. Okay, as you can see here, my script runs successfully without any issue. However, as you can see, the risk here is my secret. I mean, the API key as well as my, my secret 
I am back to inspect this program. That means if anybody who can access my soap code here will be able to grab my secrets. This is not good. So technically, how can it be done? By using Cyber Dynamic Access Provider DAP from Application Access Manager, we can achieve this by four simple steps. Step one, set up Cyber DAP with AWS IAM Authenticator enabled. This enables an AWS resources to use its AWS IAM road to authenticate with DAP. AWS Identity and Access Management IAM is a web service that helps you securely control access to AWS resources natively provided by AWS. This approach enables EC2 instances and Lambda functions to access credentials stored in DAP without MP configured DAP identity. That means we can secure the applications and meet enterprise resilience and scalability at the same time. Step number two, secure the secrets. Cyber DAP delivers security policy as code and enables your organizations to provide a better security and increase developer and operations autonomy. Security policies are configured in YAML format, which is human and also machine readable. And secrets are securely centralized and being stored and protected. Step three, create an identity for applications using IAM road. By referencing the AWS IAM attributes in CyberArk DAP policies, applications can authenticate to CyberArk DAP based on its native attributes and we can control the access of the applications to the secrets based on its native attributes. Step 4. We can replace the embedded secrets with environment variables. By injecting secrets to the applications by summon, the secrets will be temporarily stored in memory as environment variables. This prevents secrets from being exposed by removing the need to store them directly in source codes. So let's take a look at the revised setup. This is the login page of CyberArk Dynamic Access Provider. If you log on to the web interface, you will notice here I already stored the secret in this instance. Name it Cracko slash private key and Kraken slash API key. In this detail page, you will find a lot of details and information including the audit event. You can see here, um, I just log in as an administrator, I will log into the page so it will check whether or not I have access to it and this action will be logged and audited. If you try to look at the update software, I have revised my coding like so. So basically, I have replaced the embedded secrets with environment variable here and here. And in order to execute it, I will use summoned to do so. So let's try to execute the software again using summon. Perfect. As you can see here, we can successfully execute the software without any errors. And there will be no embed secrets here. Meaning that if attackers try to grab these files or the codings, there is no secret impacted to it, so they cannot impersonate or pretend as my software to log onto the systems. Let's go back to Cyber Dynamic Access Provider screen. If you refresh this page, you can see here uh, a minute ago we have used my AWS instance basically with an IAM road called EC2 secret access that has stretched this perfect key. Okay, this is 
this action is logged very clearly inside our dynamic access provider to give you visibility of what's going on. Before I end this video, let's recap on how does application access manager reduce risk. There are three key benefits. One, the embedded secrets are removed that limits discoverability of application credentials and therefore reducing the attack surface area. Two, we have established identities to the applications using native application attributes. In this case, AWS IAM role, without a pconfigurate DAP identity. This further limits and reduces the attack surface area, and every access to the secret are authorized, logged, and audited. And at the same time, the resilience and scalability are maintained. 3. We can further tighten the secure controls by enabling credential rotations. With CyberArk Application Access Manager and Central Password Manager CPM, regular credential rotations can be enabled without updating any files, codes, or database with minimal or even no downtime. And that concludes my presentations. Thanks for watching. This is Quincy Chang from CyberArk. Happy trading, everyone.